camos you know. I'ma take that gamble, lay her flat just like some sandals Woo. Flip her like a channel, then pass Hey, mommy, where is the drip where is the back? back? Got this chick in the car, she complained it too much Told her sit back, sit back Gave her some yes, told her relax that wear makeup. If that didn't apply to you, keep scrolling. I think I just found out the best hack to make our eyes pop. Cause you know blue eyes, they pop. Green eyes, they pop. Brown eyes, not so much. Anyway, green mascara. You might think I'm crazy, but just look at this. I mean, come on. SPF in your baby creams and foundations is a scam. Now, let me explain what I mean by that further. So we all should know by now, if not already know, that for your skin to be properly protected, you need a teaspoon of SPF for your face and neck. So the SPF 15 or 30 that is in your foundations and BB creams, with the two little pumps that you have, is not going to give you any protection. Or if it does, maybe it'll give you protection for about five minutes. That's why it's so important to prep the skin prior to doing your makeup with a good SPF. First I didn't get it, now I understand. He broke her heart. I have no idea what kind of sorcery that was, but I need to try it. So basically, you should be able to mix white, red, blue, and yellow to get your perfect match skin tone. I'm doing white first because I'm pale. I don't know when I'm supposed to stop. I look like I have pimple cream on. Now I'm going to do some yellow. I don't want to look like a Simpson, so that's probably good. I don't want to put too much red on my face or TikTok might flag me for sensitive content. I don't know if I'm supposed to use dark blue or light blue, so we're just gonna go with this. I don't even understand where the blue is coming from. I just realized I didn't do my nose, under eyes, or mustache. I just literally don't understand how this could work. Okay, I think that that looks good. I, j I just don't understand how, how this is gonna turn into skin color. I ran out of time, but come back for part two, I'm gonna blend it. I'm gonna see if this really works. I just finished putting white, yellow, red, and blue all over my face. And I don't know why you'd be doing this, but if you are, make sure you're using cream paints so they blend better. I'm gonna add a few drops of oil just to blend better. All right, let's do it. Okay, um, it's, it's not looking too promising. I mean, it's kind of blending out, but I feel like I put too much blue. This is honestly scary. Wait, it's kind of working on my forehead. I'm almost done. I look purple, but I'm gonna try and save it. I am just going in with some more white and a little bit more yellow. Let's try this again. Oh my God, wait, it's working. See how this half was more purple before and now it completely went away. Okay, somehow this actually ended up working, but the most important thing is just to have the right ratio. Oh, it is full coverage. 
I have never seen more hype over a foundation. But here we are. Even though there are 40 shades, I feel like I still needed to get two colors. Um, I have tan 74 and tan 72. Claims to feel natural, but still be really full coverage. Um, I have crazy hyperpigmentation. I have no beauty filter on, nothing. I know you lying. Hold on. Let's blend this in. Are y'all seeing this or no? Hyperpigmentation where, ma'am? All right, this is half my face. No filter, no beauty filter, no nothing. Okay, this is the other side. Ooh, ooh, I'm done. There's no question I got a lot of acne. But the most commonly asked fucking question I receive is how do you cover that shit up? How do you make it look like you have none at all and no texture? I'm gonna show you how I cover it up with no texture, no flaws at all. You need three products and I'm gonna show you what they are. Start with a sticky serum to fill in your pores. I like either the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid or the Exuviance Radiance Serum. From there, you need to prep the surface of the skin. Apply a sticky primer. I like Milk Hydro Grip or the Ordinary High Adherence Primer. And finally, you need a pot concealer. It has to be a pot concealer, not a liquid. Pot concealers allow you to create sort of a spackle on the face that hides the texture and covers the acne, and it dries down. If you don't use all three products in the right sequence, it will not work. First, apply the serum. Apply the sticky primer. Now take the pot concealer and cover all the acne. Now let it sit for two minutes. Do not blend it. Right over with foundation. Sorry, did you say acne? Yeah, we don't know her.